are taking the flag set that w- premiered at Summer Games Done Quick, effectively the GDQ Lite flag set, and we are also adding in random dungeon locations, or rather the dungeons are at their same locations, just shuffled amongst themselves. The dungeon shapes are completely different, and our enemies are going to have a little bit of, an, of a health variance, somewhere between plus and minus two. We can immediately see in this race uh, that Blade is heading up toward vanilla level one to see what they can see as Catastrophe screen scrolls all the way over to level three, where we immediately find level nine. Good knowledge to have, not imminently useful. And level nine today, or excuse me, level one is now level five, and we are starting all the way at the top. With, ooh, ooh, not good find right off the bat. Gets hit by a Patra twice and takes an early death in level five. So that is an unfriendly place to start. However, catastrophe was able to get some bombs. So was Stygian. The overworld enemies are certainly helping with that. And we are taking advantage of some of the more vanilla-based locations. That was a medium secret, looked like at least 33 or 34 rupees. And so with that, you know, we're able to start building up some bank. Rolled up slightly, not too many items that the runners will be buying. The seat. They might just to pick up some wooden arrows. They might pick up um, some bait if they need to pick that up for a block in a dungeon. Uh, if they get enough rupees, they might even pick up a blue ring, but it all depends on the items that they find throughout the dungeon. And, ugh, Catastrophe learned of the same problem. Patra is guarding a staircase in level 5. Now, the way that shapes works... It's based off of the first quest algorithm, so levels 5 through 8 are guaranteed at least one passageway f- connecting one part of level 5 to another part of level 5, one part of 6 to another part of 6, etc. Of course, we could have some uh, single segments that choose to cause a little bit of chaos. Yeah, depending on your philosophy while playing this game, shapes you either love them or hate them, and a lot of the runners, I think, uh, are in that latter camp. They are not a big fan of the difficulty that's presented with shapes. You're concerned a lot more with resource management. You're worrying about uh, finding bomb holes, using keys that you don't need to use. So just an extra difficulty added on top of an already challenging set. Ooh, was that level 3 at the level 6 spot? Yes, it was. So let's see uh, what we can find in level 3 on Blight. And, ooh, the forgotten spot, so-called because many runners forget about it, has a slightly more expensive candle, but that's a cheap blue ring. That's not a bad early find. Now you have that, and just in case Catastrophe needs to run back throughout the to the run, uh, knows where to pick up a blue candle and where to find that blue ring. And... Ah, the, uh, Armo spot is, uh... Well, it's not a power bracelet today. Instead, it is one of our heart containers. It's a little difficult to say whether that is the, um, overworld heart container, but it's still good to find. We do have heart shuffle on, which means that hearts are going, heart containers are going to be shuffled into the available dungeon item. So it's good news and bad news. You can pick up some extra health along the way, but when you're looking for those key items, that's not exactly your primary concern. So Catastrophe and Stygian Blood both are approximately on the same screen, around level six or in level level three, vanilla location. Level 3 is not, well, pardon the pun, shaping up to be friendly right now. Corner <laughs> traps in this diagonal room? Not my cup of tea. Stygian Blade also finds the Armos item, that container heart, so... Oh... Pick it up. Oh, shoot. We have a problem. I think we're key locked out of level 3. 
So that's two virtually inaccessible dungeons so far for these runners. Uh, level 5 blocked by that really rude Patra, and then level 3 as well. Keep. Yeah, and uh, oh, that was not a bomb hole we could take advantage of, so uh, Catastrophe is going to bail. We see Stygia Blight heading up over towards Spectacle Rock, the Vanilla 9 location, to find what's available up here, hoping to get a bomb drop, and does four. Ah, uh, yes, good old 10 count. All you have to do is take out an enemy, keep on taking them out. Ooh, level 1 at Spectacle Rock, we got a good one here. Level 1 in particular is a really advantageous find early on, especially because you get the possibility of three item spots, as well as a having level 1 be a pretty short dungeon. So if you really, for economies, is a great dungeon to find early on. That it is, Threech. That it is. And right now, seeing ropes in here is a good find because, well, they may have a little bit more health as we can tell but hey they are money droppers and right now i kind of want money absolutely that and it does look you're absolutely right like they rolled up a little bit they are pretty beefy stygian blight picks up the compass in level one finds the triforce room so that's x knowledge to have at this and is immediately bombing towards that destination trying to save some keys just has to... Was that level 2 in its vanilla location? That it was. Eh, that's how the randomizer goes at times, so... If you need to call it something, maybe a little bit of spicy vanilla. Just to, <laughs> you know, give it a little kick. And oh, Blue Lionel's guarding an item. That's not exactly fun. And, Oof. yeah, Blight takes it. Now, Catastrophe has picked up the map of level 2, and, uh, Threech, uh, I'm going to ask you, what is that ink blot? That is a, gr a great question. I, uh, oh, it looks like an ostrich head, perhaps? Or a sock puppet. It's a sock puppet. That's my final answer. I was thinking, like, one of those bubble blowers for some reason. Oh my gosh, no, you're absolutely right. Uh, Catastrophe also picks up the wooden boomerang a few rooms ago. Ooh, Do I you... missed that, but inventory confirms. And is immediately ladder blocked as well. So Stygian Blade is going to try a very... Ooh. Very challenging move there to block clip into the the diamond shaped staircase, but also not get hit by those blue lionels. Doesn't quite manage to and starts over in level one. Now the block clip technique, it's technically not required by logic, but for certain rooms it can help. Part of this is going to depend on how many rooms we encounter, say, Gomas or Dig Doggers. Catastrophe, meanwhile, stopping at one of our Take Anys, where you can take either a Heart Container or a Red Potion and be happy with it. <laughs> I hope so. I hope Blight is happy with that Heart Container. Not sure uh, if we ask them after the race if if that would be considered a lucky play, but having extra health never really hurt. Um, you know, after the difficulty getting into that diamond staircase, maybe not exactly what you want to see. You're hoping more for maybe a recorder or the ladder or something, but you'll take what you can get. Catastrophe now in level 7, which happens to be right by our White Sword location. The locations of the White Sword and... Ooh! Master Sword, or, sorry, Magic Sword, I, ha I have to remember, this is not linked to the past yet. The Magic Sword is not available and <laughs> they are at their vanilla locations, but hey, that was a raft at level 7, the floor drop item. And that was 
a relatively quick craft find, too. Yeah, not too much being required, which I'm sure Catastrophe is grateful for. Um, Stygian Blade has found the Triforce in one, uh, had the compass already, so not too much uh, groundbreaking news. Decides to continue digging throughout the level to find out what else is in here. However, Catastrophe's uh, stay in level 7 may be reduced. Uh, I did see what is known as the Chevy Room. A room with a bunch of water and islands, and yeah, we need the ladder, or the step ladder, or whatever you call it, in order to get past. And yeah, not the friendliest room when you don't have those navigation options, so. Stygian Blight heads out of one, decides, I believe, yep, to up an A and start back at the start screen, head to a different level. Oh, an immediate staircase available here. Will this have our second item? No, just a passage. Just a transport staircase. Uh, Stitchy and Blade making their way along the south shore, um, possibly stopping to pick up, probably stopping to pick up that heart container uh, located on this. Wanted to make sure the moblins were taken out first, but, cons you know, considering how um, evil the moblins can get in Ocarina of Time, Rando, I kind of can't blame <laughs> That moblin is not having any of it. So, uh, on Stygian Blade's side, uh, the white sword item located in the vanilla white sword cave can have its heart shuffled, so the, the number of hearts required to actually pick it up will change, but... Uh, given that they have seven containers already, are guaranteed to pick up on that item. So, in a good situation, once they continue to head up the northeast corner of the map, which is pretty resource heavy, um, there's some heart containers, some secrets up there that you can pick up and pull the white sword item. Um, usually, also a candle shop available as well. However, catastrophe only has five hearts. The white sword item can roll to be two, uh, can be four, five, or six. Excuse me. But yes, Digian has two more hearts than Catastrophe is guaranteed to be able to pick up... Oh, hi, Meat Room. Actually, are we gonna need that meat? Depending on the layout in here, uh, we don't have the map yet for seven, so we might end up seeing that unfortunate... And, alright, Stygian deciding to take that boomerang as well. It is a wooden boomerang, but some consider it to be a very good model of boomerang. There are two boomerangs in the game. The wooden one and a more magical one. But, uh, would you happen to remember the differences? Uh, the wooden boomerang, uh, they, they do effectively the same thing. I think the magical boomerang just shoots across the room or across the entire screen so um, if you're early in the game it's not a bad pickup to have especially when you consider that with the HP rolls you can also find enemies that have one or zero or sorry zero HP which means you can take them out with the boomerang there you go and for a number of runners oh gosh whiz robes for a number of runners uh, being able to more rapid fire the wooden boomerang is considered better Sorry, it's a... Wizrobes and I do not really get along well. Generally, with these, you're, you're looking to find them on the overworld. It's just a little bit friendlier because that means they are not in dungeons. So, Stygian heading into a really unfriendly room here with three blue lionels and fireballs, which really just make all the difference. Unfortunately, takes a death in there. And we'll need to start again in level two. We see Catastrophe heading down another staircase in level 7. I believe this is the same transport as before. That it is. I think Catastrophe is hoping to find another way to that Triforce piece. Speaking of Triforce piece, ah, thank you for marking that. So, Stygian has the first blood. Oh no, not another Patra! And they're everywhere. Oh, it's not just that. That is a that's the potential item room. The raft was the floor drop. 
ooh, not something you want to see with uh, five hearts and green mail. It's just not. It's just not a good find. And and neither are blue lionels in a statue shooter room. Whereas, well, that's a familiar home for the Triforce, or the piece of the Triforce, I should say. City and Blade taking down those lionels. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, not another one. And not just that, uh, that Patra basically blocked the way back. So the reason why Catastrophe chose to explore further, again, was to hopefully find where that I other item is located. But in this case, uh, the Patra said, uh, Nope, uh, you are not heading back until you defeat me, or wait, how did you teleport back there? Oh, never mind. I think you're really just hoping at this point, as a runner, that the item that you find is guarded by something a little bit easier than an expanding Patra. I think so, Catastrophe may just take this Triforce piece and go now. Yeah, this is a tough one to deal with until you've got a little bit more armor, a little bit more combat power to really be able to withstand some of those hits from the patch. So Catastrophe grabs the Triforce out of seven. Steve and Blight, uh, looks like they're farming for bombs. Not a bad idea. And Catastrophe thought about it. Perhaps also wants bombs. And gets them. Nice pickup, excellent. Sigi and Blade heading up in the northeast corner to find, uh, as I mentioned before, there's resources hiding up there. If you seek, check out the white sword item. Uh, maybe check out what's at level five. Picks up a bomb drop. Also very welcome, I'm sure. And white sword today is a heart container. So, I mean, at least we were able to pick it up at four or five hearts, but, uh... Am I supposed to mark the heart container as Armos or sword? I can't mark it as sword. But we... Yeah, I think generally uh, where we will mark that on the tracker for when we find the white sword, wherever the, the sword itself is actually located. Fair enough. Alright, 115 rupees on hand, and Catastrophe is back at the Forgotten Spot. Perhaps a candle purchase is in order. And with that candle purchase, we have access to the dungeon underneath level 8! Hey there, 138 rupees! That's a nice large secret. That really rolled so a good find. You're feeling pretty good about that at this point. So you are well equipped to make any kind of purchase you need to make at this point. Uh, just a few more uh, medium secrets or some lucky pickups until you can get that red ring, too, or sorry, the blue ring too, if you're looking for it. The locations of the small, medium, and big secrets have not been randomized, just their values. And oh, look at that. Seven rupees for bombs. That is a special kind of discount. I am a fan of that. Stygian and Blade also opts to pick up some wooden arrows. Has not yet located the bow, uh, but does have that available. And picks up the bait. So buys all three items in that shop with one rupee remaining. And is... Making the attempt to screen scroll over to level 5 from here. In the meantime, oh, Catastrophe chose to spend a key in level 3, got presented with more key doors, and then got trapped in the Chevy room. So, we have found, it's like, almost every dungeon we've been in has had some sort of ladder block. That will be a crucial item uh, to getting these extra Triforces and to just making any sort of progression. I imagine we're going to see the same kinds of problems in level as Stygian Blight picks up the raft in level seven. 
Alright, we are now going to see what is at the level 4 spot. I'm going to guess it will be a dungeon. Well, specifically level 8. <laughs> so we found level 8. This is really great uh, for Catastrophe right now because level 8 does have 3 items. Now, fortunately, um, Bo uh, Stygian is in level 7 right now, actually trying to take out that Patra. Catastrophe recently left level 7. Ooh! So, if our runners remember the shape of level 7, the map of level 8 is basically its inverse. Good info to have. Uh, I'm sure they're hoping they'll also pick up some maps along the way, um, but... It looks like Tiji and Blight didn't quite uh, have the firepower to take down that path. And when you start at three hearts, when you have to restart in the level, not always ideal. Speaking of not always ideal, <laughs> that was a book that Catastrophe saw and left behind. Now, um, do you know why I sometimes consider that item not always ideal? So, when you're casting, when you're using the wand and you have picked up the book, what it will do is, in fact, pr produce a flame that shoots out from the end of the wand. And in some cases, th that can be really helpful. If you haven't picked up a candle and you need to head to level 8, you got the wand in the book, no problem. You don't need to go buy a In literally every other context, however, you're probably not going to see runners pick it up because you can walk into that flame and you can damage yourself. Exactly. I'm not going to say that I've done that, or that I do that every time I pick up the book, but there's just a distinct possibility. Oh gosh, blue is robes. And they are guarding a room. This is just a nightmare. Oh my goodness. I don't think we saw Catastrophe fight this room, if I remember correctly. I'm sure on five hearts, you would have just noped right out of there. Yeah, as I said, Blue Wizrobes and I have been mortal enemies. Um, just to uh, ask about what happened uh, uh, two years ago when I had my first uh, qualifying tournament matchup. Actually, it wasn't qualifying, it was more of a Swiss stage, but let's just say that seed is in the Hall of Shame for a reason. <laughs> we have to start referring to it as the incident. Uh, it's been referred to by many names by now. Some of them four-letter, not all of them PG, but that's okay. So, Stygian Blight patiently works through that room, does take down those blue whiz robes, and finds a staircase guarded by two red land molas. Really, really hoping not to take damage from these. Yeah, one hit means... death. Ah. Oh, unfortunate. And the worst part? I think that was our item room. It, I believe that is correct. Which meant the whiz robes were required potentially. Ugh. Now we didn't see what the other item room in, or what the other item was in seven. I think we only have uh, marked down the raft. We got the raft as our first item in seven. We haven't identified the second item yet. I don't want to believe that those wisdom ropes are required, but I feel like that's the kind of luck that this seed is going to bring. Well, we will find out. Stygian Blight heading over to the white sword item takes down these blue gorillas, or walks past the blue gorillas at least, and uh, is rewarded with a heart container. That is the power of the Metaflex, whatever that means. <laughs> As you may have noticed, the uh, old men are spouting random gibberish. They are community-based hints, so they came from the community. Just like that Triforce beast came from the Manhandler. I was a nice takedown. Catastrophe picks up their second Triforce piece. All right, two pieces of the Triforce of Wisdom acquired, six more to go. And we've actually identified most of our levels by now. We are only missing, if I've counted correctly, 
levels five and six. Or excuse me, not we've seen five. Uh, one. Five was at one, so I am seeing. It was did, did we find level one in? The yes, that was Spectacle Rock. We saw two. We saw three, four, and six. I think four and six. Those are the ones I have. My apologies. Apparently, uh, I am showing my programming side a little bit too much. I am off by one. <laughs> and, well, that compass was handy. Uh, we, it was right next to the Triforce piece. But, uh, oh, a little late for that. Right. That's just the way it goes, isn't it? You find yeah. ten keys, you get the any key in the next room. <laughs> Stygian is hoping to find some more bombs before heading back into five. Oh, unfortunately lost the uh, count. But if I recall correctly, aren't the bomb drop tables such that if you lose your count... Oh, right, those are two separate counts. So... I'll try to explain this, but I may need some backup for each. I'll do my best. Alright, so... Every enemy is part of one of, I want to say, five or six drop tables, with really only four of them actually having potential drops. And they go on a cycle. From one to ten, with it wrapping around once it hits ten, basically. However, there's a separate... Uh, global kill counter that resets every time you get hit. If you manage to get that kill counter to 9 and bomb the 10th enemy, you get automatic bombs. Unless, of course, that enemy doesn't drop bombs, in which case it's the next enemy that can drop bombs, that will drop bombs. Or if you just happen to be very unlucky and it hit coincides with another counter, you may just get fairies instead. Yep, and there is a number uh, included as well for a 5 rupee count for a fairy drop. Um, but yeah, the rest of that absolutely correct. So, when we see those bomb drops, it could be the enemy counter, it could be the global counter, um, depend on whether and if they're paying attention. Um, runners of the skill level generally are using that global counter just to um, determine that they will pick up a bomb drop. Oh gosh, this is dangerous. A tea room with a red whiz robe. The reason why that's dangerous. If you find yourself trapped in the middle and are unable to dodge, well, the the uh, wed the red whiz robe beam deals four hearts of damage. Really, that... really unfriendly at the beginning of the game too. Really, really unfriendly no matter what part of the game. I mean, the only other thing that deals that much damage is, uh, Ganon. Also, uh, what is that inkblot over there, Threech? That is a pirate ship. You actually took my answer, so, uh, <laughs> kudos. <laughs> Oh, hi, Aquamentis. You are actually a sight for sore eyes, this seed. And oh, Stygian Blight barely dodging that, uh, quote unquote, magical boomerang as the floor drop in five. Unfortunately, not quite undetectable enough to blend in with the floor. Now, there is a varying set of philosophies on using the magical boomerang that we've pretty much covered in here, but we see the Stygian Blight is opting not to pick it up. And, oh! Blight is going after the Patra! With just a wooden sword, kind of dangerous, but if able to pull it off... Could definitely have advantage depending on what is hiding in level 5. Yeah, not just the door, but the stairs as well. We just have to make sure that that Patra does not keep on coming to the right when it expands. 
Ooh. Okay, eyes are down. Or at least the mini eyes now just have to take care of that big one. No, the boomerang doesn't work. In the meantime, cata <laughs> Catastrophe finds just a passage and leaves it for now. Siji and Blight taking this very carefully. They've come so far with this fight. Takes down the Patra and heads down the staircase. And what do we find? A passageway for now. Now the nice news is that when Siji and Blight comes back into the dungeon, they do not need to fight Patra. That is one of the best pieces of good news we have so far. <laughs> we'll take what we can get. So there's that Triforce hiding on that Stalfos. It's got a nice little skirt there, just uh, flashing some bright color. Sidney and Blight takes the Triforce and picks it up for a refill. Oh, he's probably going to come back and dig level 5. Uh, we do have some items hiding out in here. One more item hiding out after the Magical Boomerang. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Did we disrobe a Stalfos? I think, unfortunately, we may have. Well, Stygian Blight has picked up the Triforce. And the worst thing about that that Triforce skirt is it had pockets. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's, I'm just, I just don't know what's worse. Uh, ripping a Triforce skirt off of an enemy or actually seeing an enemy wearing a Triforce skirt? I'm not here to question Hyrule fashion. <laughs> so, you play, uh, heading up, oh, gets a bomb drop, but unfortunately is not able to pick it up without a screen scroll, which pulls off without a hitch. However, that screen scroll happened too late, but at the same time, I think, I think Blight was trying to actually use the boomerang, but the enemies are getting in the way. You can use the boomerang to pick up uh, pickups like that. Siji and Blight doesn't quite have enough money to pick up the blue candle, so we'll either farm or head off to another... Another screen scroll required to get past this river here. And gets it. Catastrophe still digging through eight. I think we've still only seen the book as far as the items are concerned here. That is correct. We've only seen one of our two seller items. At least we know that that manhandle isn't going to guard anything. Ooh. Do we have a bomb wall to our west? Place the bomb in the right location. The Dodongos especially are a very good strategy for picking up extra bombs. Uh, people will call it a bomb refill. If you can get that placement right, it's good news. Now we don't see a bomb hole to the west, um, but Catastrophe heads south uh, and finds an Aquamentis who's just doing their best. Oh no, we have an we have a potential item that's ladder blocked in eight. This seed is not being kind. Not at all. Thirty-four minutes in, we're still missing quite a few crucial items to complete the game. Uh, really, at this point, the question is, where is that ladder? As it does unlock several for uh, several dungeons that have yet to be fully explored. Yeah, if I saw the, that map correctly when Catastrophe paused, he's explored almost every room with the exception of that that one room where I I just feel like there is an item. And then I'm wondering if those blue dark nuts had the other item. At this point you do I think consider 
saving and quitting just as catastrophe just did you spent so much time taking eight there are two items but the fact remains that there are other dungeons that also have two items located in them so you have to you know weigh the value of the time that you're using spending um digging around in the dungeon and decide if it's worth it so catastrophe is heading over the eastern side of the moon you know i can't help but notice uh, the stitching has a lot more heart containers than I've been keeping up with. I, I know that there are some take -anys that I'm probably forgetting about, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. N no? Okay, numbers match up. I don't think anyone has gone to the take any either by, you know, right below level five in this case or the uh, raft spot on the east so that so the numbers make sense just making sure i'm not missing anything yeah i think i think that pretty much matches it up um one thing to know i know we haven't really spent too much time on the eastern side of the map we've not looked yet what the coast item is so we still are in need as i mentioned of, of several items that are needed in order to beat the game um we have not yet located the bow the ladder the recorder um and it looks like there are some quality of life items that are large too. We need the silver arrows, but um, we haven't seen the any key. We haven't seen the wand just for some extra damage and uh, resource management. So lots did, of things still to pick up. We did find level four in the uh, Eastern woods, which means level six is recorder block today. And a level four happens to have a goma south of our entrance, and of course another ladder block. And ooh, watch out ooh. for that whiz robe. Yeah, when you get bottlenecked in a path like that, it's really not great to see a red whiz robe just hanging out there, ready to shoot you in the face with beam that does four hard to. Because that for catastrophe right now means instant death. Stygian Blight heads back into level, or heads into level eight right after we saw Catastrophe leave. So might make some different amounts of progress, but given how much of the mini map was covered whenever Catastrophe left, uh, it's it's unlikely that we'll see anything else that we haven't already seen, unless Stygian Blight takes down a few of the rooms that Catastrophe was unable to defeat. Oh, there's our item. There's um our. Yeah, our cellar item for level four, but it's guarded by blue whiz robes. That is nasty. And both of our runners are down to half a heart right now. And oh, catastrophe gets in. Oh, wow. Look at that! And then is rewarded with the wand, which does white sword damage. Um, and if you press both the button for the wand and the sword at the same time, you do damage with both. So at this point, that's really the kind of combat advantage you're looking for. Or you're happy to find it at least. We definitely can't go up, but we will go east and see what else is hiding in level. So we know there's another item located somewhere in four. It's going to be a floor drop. And oh, Stitchy and Blight gets that compass right when it matters. <laughs> But choosing to explore instead, not necessarily a bad move. Just one that I'm a little bit concerned about, considering I think I know where one of the items are located. And Stygian Blight is not going to be happy. Well, That's I know. Be... Go ahead. No, Catastrophe finds the map in level 4, so name that in club. Uh, Ridley, what are you doing here? <laughs> Very good. I mean, do you have a better one? I don't know that I do. Catastrophe hits a fairy with a banana, which is, is just rude. Um... And <laughs> There Ooh. is our stepladder. 
That is a worthwhile plus. We found the ladder in level four. Catastrophe has picked that up. That is a huge advantage that unlocks a lot of potential in the dungeons and on the overworld as well. So now we just have to find that Triforce Beast of, wis of Wisdom and then skedaddle. Perhaps these Stolfos have it. Nah. Can't be that easy. The game knows when you are itching to find items. And the game knows how to test some of our patience as well. We are 40 minutes in, and we've found two Triforce pieces apiece. So at this point, um, I'm sure these runners are anxious to get a move on with uh, finding the rest of the items that are... Oh, and Stygian of Light apparently picked up the red ring. I had missed where, but it had to it had to have been in level eight. I suppose that must have been our second item in level eight. Not a bad find. I'm going to presume that it came from one of the combat rooms, which means floor drop. So now we just have to wonder... Where is the recorder? We need that for level 6. Recorder could be the coast item. It could be. We haven't seen that yet. And since, uh, since level 4 is in the vanilla 8 location, I'd be very surprised if Catastrophe did not make their way over to that side of the map. Um, unfortunately, it's well blocked here. Um, can walk right past it. Uh, don't think even that's going to be an item drop, so maybe Gomo blocked isn't the right term. He's picking up a key here from these leg likes, this pancake room. Mmm, pancakes. I actually need to go back to a, uh, localish uh, place that offers like pancakes the size of pizza. I'm not even kidding. There is no world in which I would ever be unhappy about a pancake the size of a pizza. That sounds incredible. <laughs> well, hopefully you have one at your local area. <laughs> we see some more blue whiz robes in level four. Um, thankfully, a few of these other enemies are a little easier to take down the Stalfos and the lake likes there. So Catastrophe kills a few of the enemies and then walks back, hopefully, to reset the spawns in the room. And does manage, I think, to take out one of the blue whiz ropes. So not too bad of a move there. And, oh no, that's the Goma room! So well, I guess we are Goma blocked. Oh no. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, uh, Cyber Chow, to my knowledge, uh, Stygian has found more of the heart containers and I possibly got more of them through the Takenies. I don't have, say, two heart containers marked down for level one, for instance. I only saw one item picked up from level one, and, and it was just one heart container. The other two items remain unknown, to my knowledge. They are still at large. Catastrophe has uh, maxed out rupees right now and does not have any additional armor, so is opting to take that fairy health refill. We may see a blue ring pick up at this stage in the game. You don't know where the red ring is. Um, at this point, you're still digging to find other items, but um, because some of these extra, or other dungeons might require some extra armor, might be a play we see here. Yeah, heading over to that forgotten spot. Curiously, did not pick up the coast item. Yep, 
Yeah, that could have been our bow for all we know. But at least Catastrophe is better equipped to handle things. Two times defense for Catastrophe, four times defense for Stygian Blight. Absolutely. Now we are still missing the White Sword as well. We haven't identified the White Sword location. Still be nice to pick up that any key. We haven't seen the Silvers or Bow or the Red Candle. So many items still at large. We are pretty low on the Triforce count though too. So that's not entirely surprising. I think we've had a few Bladder Block Dungeons. Uh, we, we have a patcher blocked anything here in level 5. It's just really not pleasant. But we did see Stygian Blight take down this room earlier, so... Fully possible for Catastrophe to do this. It may be fully possible, but uh, the question becomes, uh, does he want to? Remember, the, uh, only the wand itself can actually deal damage to the eyes. The, um... Wand magic does nothing. Catastrophe takes down the Patcher eyes effortlessly. Um, you're you're definitely correct there. Um, the thing about the wand is it does do white sword damage. So you do get those two points instead of just the one with the wooden sword, which is what we saw with Stygian Blight earlier. All right, uh, Catastrophe. Le leaving the Triforce piece behind for now. And, uh, yes, old man, we did get the rusty sword. We are currently using said rusty sword. Ooh, that is a certainly a color palette there in level 5. But hey, if we're, if we're able to clip through, go for it. Again, uh, clips like that are not taken into account for the logic, but they're minor glitches. You're allowed to use them if you can do them. And if you can, that is often quite an advantage against your opponents if they are not able to do that same thing. Um, Catastrophe making more progress in level 5 due to having the ladder, so I'm sure very relieved to have picked that up earlier because we will see what is beneath this staircase. And um, it's another staircase. This is a segmented level 5, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, it has to be. So... You know... Mini segments don't have to just be one square, they can be more than one. The important part is the fact that it is segmented. Oof. Lots of uh, annoying enemies in here. You don't like to see those whiz robes when you've got bubbles in the same room either. Fortunately, once the whiz robes get taken out, the wand can handle the rest. And nice ladder clip. Really excellent job there by Catastrophe. We see Stygian Blade still progressing through level 8. Um, taking, I mean, it's pretty much a similar path to what Catastrophe had done earlier with 8. Um, we did see a lot of walking around in the sea. Not much to show for it, unfortunately. Oh, level 5 has our silver arrows for the seed. That is a great find for Catastrophe. So, we are just missing a bow and a recorder. So, where are they? <laughs> That's not the item that Stygian Blight wants to see. Uh, certainly, the book at this stage is, is not something you're interested in. Um, so, we found... Both items in five, both in four. Uh, I... I couldn't tell if you uh, got cut off there or not, Threech. 
oh sorry um just uh, reconsidering what we've found so far which items were missing i think really there, there's a there's a huge gap here of not finding all the items in level one especially given that there was one heart container levels one and three are perhaps the best places to go right now Because both of those le levels have two items left. Though I'm still curious about that coast spot. I would be surprised if we don't see that soon. That's a that's a pretty big unknown. Not really a chance you want to take that it could have been an easy pick up the whole time. So um, hopefully we'll we'll see catastrophe moving in that direction. Um, catastrophe, however, looks like they are heading up to level. That is correct. At this point, we should be well equipped to deal with whatever's in level one. As Stygian takes care of level eight for now. All right, we get ourselves an extra key. And, oh, right. This was the area where if we headed north, we were trapped without the ladder. You are very correct there. So we're looking for a bomb hole. Don't quite find one. Sijin Blight heads out of level eight. Catastrophe dealing with a Gleok. And, well, that's kind of a convenient looking map. So, uh, name that inkblot. You know, I'm gonna say it's someone dabbing. Because I feel like that's the kind of energy we have in here today. Chat, name that name, Claude. You gotta come up with something better than that. Carjack. That's what I'm sticking with anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it could be one of those, the top half of a syrup container in continuing with our pancake theme for tonight. Oh, please. Disclaimer, I'm not a pancake lobbyist. I feel like it's important to make that distinction right now. Okay, you prefer waffles instead. Good to know. Catastrophe I... getting a heart container. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever breakfast item is on the plate in front of me, that's really all I'm concerned about. So Stitchy and Blade heads over toward the eastern side of the map, is going to check out this shop. Find some cheap bombs, but probably... Not what they're looking for at this point, which I, I don't believe that they have picked up a candle at this point. And, okay, a heart container on the uh, first floor drop. There's a second floor drop. Ooh, that small secret. All of two rupees. Eh, the medium secret and large secret more than compensate today. You're not wrong. Make that three for three. <laughs> Level one is a great Triforce farm. <laughs> and that's about all we get. However, with ten hearts available, we technically have a 20% chance of picking up that magical sword. Could very well be worth it, especially depending on what combat we're going to find in nine. So... Catastrophe picking up the fourth Triforce piece. And now... Okay, let's see here. I'm just taking a look at my current notes here. We still haven't found the second item in level two yet. So I'm wondering if 
this was probably also a ladder block I level. I think this was a ladder block as well, which means Stygian Blade, unfortunately, is not going to have the means to get to the second item location, but we shall. So you know what? I'm curious. Uh, is Catastrophe going to go to level 3, possibly stop by the Magic Sword, and then World Wrap to the Coast item? You know, if you're in the area, I think that's a good play. You might as well take the chance because the time that it could save you, the advantage that it could present, is really worth, I think, a small detour. Although, at, at 55 minutes in, you might be sweating, too, thinking maybe your opponents made a few moves that you yourself have not made, so... Let's see uh, what we find in level 3 here. I think also ladder block, unless I missed... Just about every dungeon was ladder block today. Level 1, indeed, chat. Very healthy. Which is great when you need hearts, not great when you need anything else. These red lionels going down like nothing, just the wand takes them right out, so uh, good for health refills as well. Alright, Stygian heading to level 7. Where we've only found the raft and nothing else, but hey, Catastrophe found where the Triforce piece is in 3. Once you get that ladder, pretty straightforward path. Oh, another Patra. This time, just the rotating one instead of the expanding, so not quite as mean. You can predict a little bit more readily, I think, but uh, with that wand, takes it out with no problem. And this has a potential for a staircase. And indeed, we find a staircase. That with leads us the to uh -oh. the bow. <laughs> Patra required. Ooh. We are just one item away from being able to knock this seed out of the park. This is the state that many of our runners call go mode. So I just want to throw it out there, too. We got to look extra careful in level three because of sickly yellow palette that it's been granted. Uh, we could very well see that recorder blend into the ground if it's located in three. You mean like that? Oh, exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I did not review this seed before commentary. Uh, but I am taking appointments for a psychic reading. No. <laughs> Very good. So catastrophe picks up that last triforce piece in or picks up the triforce piece in level three. Has all of the items required now to finish the game and is officially in go mode. And uh, uh, catastrophe, you are right by the magical sword location. I know it's only a twenty percent chance, but at least go pick it up. I think that's exactly what's happening. And, oh, this Patra. Oh, Catastrophe opts not to check the Magical Sword. Interesting. Uh, I think is going to do that wrap over to the coast. I mean, the world wrap makes sense. Skipping on the 20% chance does not to me. But then again, um, these runners know a lot better than I do, and... Oh, the almighty key is hanging out over there. That's a nice gamble, honestly. If you're if you're gonna take you know some extra damage or not having to worry about keys in level nine, that's a good call. So as of yet, uh, we have not yet located red candle, power bracelet, or the white sword. Um, at this point, it might not even matter for the runners, depending on their priorities. Um, Catastrophe at, at most could have, uh, you know, a combat advantage, which also could be mitigated through the magic sword, but we shall see what they decide to do. Easily picks up that Triforce in four after taking out the go. And we're right by two as well. So, routing wise, this makes perfect sense. And then we just have to deal with six. Heal up at the Fairy Fountain, and then deal with nine. 
Yeah, opt I, I, I doubt that we'll see... Oh, I missed. I spoke too early. I was going to say I doubt that we see them progressing up through level 2, but I suppose we do need to go there. Uh, it takes down Moldworms here, just hanging out, doing their thing. Stygian Blight picks up the Triforce in 7. And, and Catastrophe taking, taking it in 2, so we're almost there. Now, we right now have a uh, Stygian's audio up, but uh, one of the uh, features within this randomizer is the ability to potentially have different musical tunes play once that recorder is found. So we may not get to know what tune is playing until, well, it's too late. And, hmm, Catastrophe choosing to take the red potion instead. I mean, it kind of makes sense. The the letter is kind of out of the way at this point. Yeah, you might not hate that extra insurance, especially as you get through level 9. Ten hearts is nothing to scoff at, but uh, certainly after... Or with only the blue ring, you don't take those chances with... But there's a problem. If this potion is used and Ganon is not defeated on that life, well, uh... Not really many other ways to, uh, heal yourself up. Still entirely, uh, you know, entirely within Catastrophe's grasp, so I'd say no worry there. Um, we head into level 6 at the level 7 vanilla spot and immediately are greeted with Ace. That's where a red candle was hiding. Catastrophe says, no, we've already got one. And heads out. Sigium Blight still ticking through level 7. Um, has already located Raft in here. I don't think we saw the other item. In I haven't noticed it yet either. I think that's probably what they're looking for, and at this rate, they've already got the tri. We'll see what they're thinking, but uh, maybe at, at some point decide that, that they will cut their losses and head to a different dungeon to explore. The unfortunate part is they need to get to level 4, which means they need to get that candle. I think the candle in this seed was 63, so they certainly have enough. I'm not sure if that may be the next priority once they leave the dungeon, but we'll see what they decide. Uh, heads into the re the wizard room, has one and a half hearts, and says, no thank you. Catastrophe, meanwhile, using those silver arrows very quickly, something to keep in mind, um, the way this game was made, each shot of an arrow costs one rupee. So it's not unlimited, you do have to be mindful of your wallet. Hopefully along the way we'll find some enemies that are, are pretty keen to drop rupees, so ultimately just need, I think, one shot for Ganon, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, unless six has a Goma blocked Triforce, but I think we'll be in good shape. Well, we do know Gomas can roam in level six. Oh, NSU room. Ugly room for blue dark. At least we have the ladder here. Very true. Okay, is this a room we've seen before on St Oh, right, the, the meat block! And Stygian Black did pick up meat earlier, so might be able to take that out. I'm not entirely certain that it is necessary, huh? 
At this stage, it would just have helpful stuff, but... Nothing required. No, it seems that that is not necessary. We can enter the room above the bait block. Ah. Well, at least we have that confirmed. Very true, and I bet Catastrophe is would love to see a map right about now. A map and a recon- Well, Stygian would like to see more bombs. Oh, speaking of, we possibly have to lose bombs in a toll room, but nope, uh, Almighty Key minus three equals Almighty Key. Don't ask how the math works. It's a feature. <laughs> A really great opportunity for a catastrophe to sort of give back to the game by using the any key to spend nothing. Still exploring six, just needs to pick up a triangle. I'm wondering if that passage that was found at the beginning is necessary now. I'd say it's certainly possible uh, at this rate. Um, thankfully, not too much of a consequence for doing extra exploration aside from the time loss because you do have the any key at this route. Um, six seems to be abundant with bombs, so not that big of an issue. Uh, we see Stygian Blade attempting the screen scroll over to the forgotten spot, presumably to pick up that candle. Um, we're hoping that that is a path to go to level four at the Vanilla 8 location. Gets that screen scroll. Takes down the Octorok just because. And in the meantime, uh, thank you, High Spirits, for bringing your party over here. We are currently in the Zelda 1 Randomizer 2019 tournament. Stygian Blight vs. Catastrophe 573. I am Wolfman2000. She is... I'm going to put your pronunciation... Put it again, uh... Three? Three? Ah. You know, three. I say three, but cl ah. How's it going, High Spirits and company? Thanks for joining us here, and thank you to everyone already watching for the tournament this year. We are very excited to have everyone here. Yeah, my apologies there. Uh, I had a Discord hiding uh, your name for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> that is quite all right. And if you haven't already, uh, check those commands that Wolfman just uh, activated in chat. If you're not following our runners, please do so. Um, I'm sure they would absolutely appreciate it. It's not too difficult to do. Um, Stygian Blight and Catastrophe 57 uh, absolutely, you know, giving us their best game. So we are excited to see them compete in this best two out of three mat single elimination brackets for the 2019 tournament. All right, Stygian has just found level four. All right, this is very good news, and I'm sure when Stygian finds that ladder, will be incredibly... That opens up so many dungeons. And I think it was a floor drop, if I'm remembering correctly. So it was a combat room. Might have been this one. It wasn't. <laughs> also, uh... That's a segmented level 6, technically. Either that, or it was just a single staircase so, <laughs> that led to nothing. But, Kata yeah. Had... Go ahead. Cat had some very fortunate early finds. Uh, located the raft, was able to make it up to level 8. Um, just get some additional progress there. Uh, found, managed, it bought a candle very early, which I think was incredibly advantageous. Uh, found the silvers and the bow, and then ended up finding the recorder as well. So really, it's it's been go mode um, for a little while here for Catastrophe, just digging through to find the Triforce. So, uh, Wolfman2000, name that ink plot. Hmm. I... Someone leaving Caltrops behind. 
I think that's better than my guess, which was a toddler running away from a bee. <laughs> so, either way, whatever your particular philosophy on Inkblot, we've got something for everyone here. But yeah, something else that uh, probably needs to be brought up, level 4 is a logically required double dip. Because we have to come in here in order to get our ladder, in order to get our bow in 3, in order to come back to take out the Goma for the Triforce. You are very correct. That's something I had not considered, but man, that is un... Thankfully, level 8... Location, vanilla location, which is where level four is, is um, not that terrible to get to. You can whistle to do if you have the recorder, or it's not very far from start. Um, Sigium Blade, though, comes down here and picks up the wand for that extra combat. And, ooh, we have to head around a little bit more in order to get that Triforce piece. Yeah, it feels like Catastrophe has explored nearly this entire dungeon. And why not? Manhandler guarding the whole thing. Come on, Manhandler, play nice. You just gotta shoot and hope for the best, and there is the Triforce pickup for Catastrophe, who find the final Triforce piece in level 6, and is now ready to head to level 9. I believe has a full red potion as well, based on that pickup from the Take Any, is that correct? Yes. So, level 9. Some call it the Great Equalizer, and but... Most call it a painful place to be. Uh, why don't you explain what normally happens here? So, level 9, just as with our other dungeons, is shuffled, or is uh, in shape, so it doesn't have its uh, centered shape of a skull. So we are looking for two components in level 9. First off, we are listening for the roar of... Uh, worth noting, just as a side note, we do not have audio on Catastrophe's side, so we will hear Ganon's roar once Stygian hits level 9, um, but unfortunately not before. We're listening effectively for the roar of Ganon, which is when you are in a room that is adjacent to the beast. After you have found Ganon, you <sighs> need to find Zelda. I think we found Zelda! <laughs> right off the bat, which is where we see a shutter door that after you've defeated all of the enemies in a room, that shutter door does not. After you've defeated Ganon, that shutter door will open, regardless of the combat status of the room. And, oh, I can tell by Stygian's, uh, reaction, no, he, uh, never found the, uh, ladder in four. Ooh, yeah, no, that is unfortunate that any key there is, is ripe for the taking. Um, really, when you're, especially at, over an hour into the seed and you can find a Zelda room that is silly accessible, I'm sure that Catastrophe is breathing a sigh of relief. So there are a total, unless you get the rare segmented level 9, there's a total of six staircase sets in line so it does require you know paying attention to where you're going what you've taken um, and in this shapes category what we also look at that the only time that a room will turn dark when you enter it is when you find under normal circumstances for level nine when you walk into a room it could turn dark and you just need to illuminate it with a candle but with shapes the only time that will happen is if you run into men The last tournament seed I ever ran for Zelda 1 Rando actually had a segmented level 9. Oh, that is brutal. Eh, honestly, by the time I even learned of that, I was eliminated anyway, so it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we found the compass in level 9 on Catastrophe's side. Uh, actually, not what we need, because we are just looking for Ganon at this so Stygian Blight opting to take this, take any uh, heart or potion, and picks up the heart container. We might see an attempt at Magical Sword for this, but... 
at this rate it is it seems catastrophe's race to lose um worth noting though that you know there could be any number of twists and turns in level nine that will prevent catastrophe from getting effectively to ganon so uh we could see anything here uh, we know where zelda Speaking of obstacles, uh, we passed an... Oh, shoot. <laughs> the race that I comment uh, did commentary for last night between uh, two racers also had a shoot room that led up to Zelda. If only it could be more... I I've uh, seen such things before. Not the most uh, fun. But it's the nature of things at times. Right now, Catastrophe, just trying to identify where Ganon is located. And if you've never run one of these before... Oh, actually, we've got Sigi and Blight making an attempt at Magic Sword. Ten hearts is not enough. Alright, so Catastrophe was correct in retrospect to uh, bypass it. Most definitely. Um, as I was saying, if you've never run one of these before, uh, a Zelda ra 1 randomizer game, and you've never attempted to use bombs to find holes in level 9, it is the most frustrating experience in the world when you are attempting, and you're trying every wall that you can, and you just can't find one. However, Stygian back in level 3, but I think we need the ladder in order to get both our bow and our recorder. I think you are correct. That's the only way we saw Catastrophe make progress earlier. Catastrophe opts out of the reverse C room, heads over, kills the Selfos, and heads... Finds Ganon's room in vanilla Zelda 1, but does not find Ganon, so... Continues the on the exploration. The beast has to be somewhere in here. He's probably just taking a nap. I thought the villains were not supposed to be that lazy. But then again, uh, what do I know? After all, I'm a commentator, not a Gerudo henchman here. <laughs> Dead end over there on the top right, so we may have to explore some of those uh, stairways. It seems that, that might be the option. Now, there might have been a one-off room, uh, but I think that Catastrophe has, for the most part, attempted to bomb all of these. All right, second passageway. Where does this take us? New area. North Central. However, we've got a patcher here. Three hearts. Eh, not impossible, but still something to be worried about. Each one of those will do one heart worth of damage. Might not be the worst time to try to use a potion if you're uh, nervous about exploration, but Catastrophe, of course, will have none of it and it takes down the eyes. By the way, uh, what is level 3's ink blot while we have a chance? But, too late. Stygian wanted out of there quickly, can't blame him. Not at all. I don't know about you, Wallmasters always make me very nervous, especially when you've progressed far in a level that is not what you and oh potion applied do we does catastrophe hear the beast i think we've got a good shot that might be that shutter door to the left so we just have to take out these wall masters and see Ooh, do not pick up the clock in this room there you go so no not quite um oh. there we go Esteemed guests, here's Ganon! 
And so... Ganon will take between... Actually, I don't think Ganon's health was randomized, so we're still talking 16 hits here. It's a whole lot. We're going to be here for a minute, and Catastrophe gets a nice stun lock on Ganon. Now just has to keep it up, but remember, touching Ganon will deal two hearts of damage with that blue ring. And oh no, in danger territory, but gets it. Excellent catastrophe. Takes down Ganon, I think is gonna, yep, gonna up an A and knows exactly where it is thanks to previous exploration and that compass. So we are right on the cusp of victory for Catastrophe in this first round. Best two out of three. And so we celebrate with a banana jam. Get That's your GGs in chat there for Catastrophe 573, our first router to finish. We have an official SRL time of one hour, 20 minutes, 26 seconds. So, let's see if, um, Catastrophe wants... R right, there may not be an immediate interview yet, so we'll get this confirmed. Also, for those that wanted to know what the tune was, it apparently was for the Saturn Valley theme from Earthbound. We've got Stygian Blight continuing through level one, attempting to find um, the other items in here, which we know are only heart container. Has one more room, I think, to explore, and it's the bottom right. And uh, there's that heart container. And, uh, Stygian? Stygian? Uh, folks? I think we have... That confirms it. We have a forfeit, unfortunately. Well, the forfeit, I think, is just for this first round, so um, now that Catastrophe has finished, it makes sense that uh, Stygian forfeits for now. Um, we still have one, possibly two races left for these two runners, uh, one of which is coming up immediately following this race. So we will hold off on an interview until after the next race tonight, uh, again, between Catastrophe 573 and Stygian Blight. Yeah, that match is going to be commentated by both uh, Threech and Jiggly Saint. So let's at least, uh, I guess, do an unofficial summary of what happened here. Uh, the the big issue here, you know, Catastrophe was able to get that candle and able to take advantage of it much quicker. And as uh, Blight is now learning, yeah, the ladder was not exactly in the best of locations. Not to mention the dip in for really just unfriendly for our runners. Yeah. Bow located in three, required the ladder. Just overall, a ladder block speed in general. But at least we get to, you know, put this match behind us as we will very soon welcome in Jiggly Saint, who will come in and take over for me. Our runners are going to take a little bit of a break here. And don't worry, uh, we're gonna take our breaks as well. Gotta stay hydrated after all. Hydrate to dominate. Thanks everyone for joining us for the first rate, uh, race. We will be back with you shortly. 
for the next race between Suji and Blight and Catastrophe 573. And as for me, this is Wolfman2000 saying thank you all and watch out for whiz robes. <laughs>